who am I? I wake up every day interested in reading books, comics, anything fantasy stuff it was a way to escape the reality of the world I was brought into. Knowing only painting, I discovered my love for sculptures and I dived straight into that, visiting a lot of galleries as a spare hobby of mine. I consider myself to be a restless storyteller. I make large-scale biomorphic sculptures and infuse drawings and writings which act as languages and inform the audience about the sculpture. I create monsters, deities, and display them as an abstract piece. I'm interested in exploring the organic complexities inherent in biomorphic sculptures. The conventional boundaries linking form and decomposition invites viewers to immerse themselves in a dialogue between nature and abstraction. I create these narratives by coding language into these forms. I create using different mark-making techniques, drawings, and writings. Each language inscribed differs from each other the way our genes differ from others. Like a toy maker, I breathe life into these options, pointing contemplation on the interconnectedness of all living things. Following the principle of object-oriented ontology, I encounter found materials and learn them enough to create languages for them. It then becomes a synchronized learning between material and artist, object, and woman. My creative process is a journey of intuitions that allow materials to guide me towards unexpected outcomes. Through my work, I aim to awaken a primal, recognition in the viewer, a recognition of shared language that exists between human experience and the organic wonders of our surroundings. This is just me making my sculpture. I put a lot of time and effort into it and it's honestly more of a time-lapse video. I really enjoy making sculptures as the act of building and molding into things excite me. Speak out to me, but my favorite exhibition was the Haywood Gallery when form comes to life, which speaks entirely on my process and my work. This exhibition really formed and shaped what my process is today, and don't forget sustainability is key, so break that down.